Hello guys, I am Salma and I will tell you now about how to prepare a timetable. Draw up a study timetable at this picture and block in all activities, work, lectures and any household or other responsibilities you may have. Include meal times and travel times. Be realistic. This should be an actual timetable. Make enough copies to cover all the weeks leading up to exams. Second, work out your most effective study times. When do you study best? Morning, afternoon or evening? Third, consider which subjects need the most study and revision. Estimate how many hours you think you need for each subject and try to match this with the hours available in your weekly planner. Fourth, Look in some study times, preferably 2 to 4 hours at, at a time, with 5 to 10 minutes break every 4 to 50 minutes. 5. Start at exam periods or do dates for assignments and work backwards blocking the more study table in the relevant subject closer to the exam due date. Make sure that you prepare for each exam over several days and don't fill up the last few days too heavily. Also put in any events which may affect your study plan such as birthdays, social events and some work functions. Consider which subjects Need the most study and revision. Estimate how many hours you think you need for each subject and try to match this with the hours available in your weekly planner. Block in some study times, briefly 2 to 4 hours at a time, with 5 to 10 minutes break every 40 to 15 minutes. Start at exam periods or due dates for assignments and work backwards. Block in more study time in the relevant subject closer to the exam date. Make sure that you uh, prepare for each exam over several days and don't fill up the last few days too heavily. Also, but also, but in any events which may affect your study time such as birthdays, social events and work functions. You may want to plan into detail for a sub study session. Write down which lecture topic text you will be researching, reviewing. This way, you can ensure that you will cover all the required information in the times you had allocated. Consider that what do I want to achieve in this session, for example, summary, notes, list of definitions, language exercise, essay plan, list of resources, timeline, whatsoever. Where will I need to study? Do I need access to a computer, the internet, the library? If you have some smaller amounts of time available for study, consider how they could be used. Scheme reading an article, reporting a draft, sorting a bibliography, organizing reference cards, whatsoever. Travel, time on public transport can also be used for reading. Start using your study timetable. See how well it works. What did you leave out? It can be changed as you go. But do this constantly. Look at what is not working, which areas you need more time in and it changes the timetable. It is much better than throwing the timetable away. Then you can be sure that you will still cover all the material you need. Thanks and good luck.